Hello everyone, welcome to another Go High Level video tutorial. Now in this uh, today's video tutorial, I will show you Go High Level Social Media Planner, uh, just overview. Uh, also, I will show you templates that you can use for your social media uh, planner within Go High Level. Now, before we get started, you will need access to Go High Level so you can get a 30 day free trial with a link down below in the description for those of you who are interested in uh, you know, full go high level capabilities and features. So first of all, uh, we need to go to the agency dashboard, which we are on the agency dashboard. And if you go to the template library here, you can actually see all the templates for websites, for funnels, for emails, for social planners. And this is what we are looking for. So templates for social planner are really, really great. So if you are within digital marketing space, you can see they have digital marketing templates right here, which are really awesome. So you can use this within your, you know, Facebook posts, Instagram posts, uh, pretty much any type of post and any type of platform that is visual. If we go back here, we can see here that we can um, basically scroll down and let's say we are in real estate, we can click real estate and we can basically see all the real estate, uh, for example, mortgage assistance, lenders, uh, you know, real estate wholesaling. So let's say you're in a, a wholesaler, you can just go here and you can snatch some of these uh, templates right here. Now, those are uh, basically social uh, media planner templates. If you want to go and try out social media planner, uh, what I like to do is just go and switch to a sub account. And from there, you want to go into the automation or should I say marketing? And then I uh, just ignore this. We have social planner right here. I already connected um, one of my account, which is Facebook account, but I can go here and add uh, another account here if I want. And I can connect pretty much any account here from these, um, you know, from these accounts right here. So they have majority most popular, um, you know, social media platforms here. So that's the first thing, obviously templates and snippets. Here you can add a template or snippet. Let's say you have a text template or email template, but that's not really connected to social planner. So let's just jump on a social planner. And if we want, we can create a new post here. We also have social planner templates, which I talked about previously. Now the best part about social media planner is that you have content AI. So you can also generate your content uh, within this particular tool. We've made a bunch of videos on this already before, so you can check out how to use it. But basically, you're just giving it a prompt, a couple of keywords connected to that prompt, a writing tone. And then based on that, uh, this AI tool will give you a copy, will write a copy for you. So that's one thing that you can do. Obviously, social planner templates, let's say we want to choose one, let's say digital marketing. We can click here. We can click continue. This will be added within your social planner. As you can see, we can select socials. So these are like 25 posts. So we can obviously select socials or we can just go here. And um, you know, what we can do is we can delete. So we can delete or upload to social uh, templates. So that's something that we can do right now. Obviously, if we want to select socials, uh, we can also select socials where we want to post this, right? So let's say Wednesday schedule post, we can just go here. And we can schedule those posts. So those posts are right now in progress, as you can see. So we can do that. Obviously, uh, we can go to settings as well. And here we have like watermarks as well. So if we add and uh, manage a single watermark, we can add it here uh, for our uh, social medias uh, to be basically our logo. Basically, um, here you can also select other, you know, um, other social medias. If you go back. Let's just go back here and uh, here we can obviously open a planner uh, as well. And we can see that here, you know, these are the posts. If we go to post, if we select obviously this one here, we can see the posts. So we can just put the post, how the post will look like the type of content, follow up content, advanced options as well, uh, choosing the category, the tags, and we can post it, schedule it as a recurring post, send post for an approval. If you have someone that is checking your posts and then Obviously we can schedule a post like a normal post. This is by far like the best creator studio option um, or alternative that you can have within go high level. So obviously that's pretty much it for the, for the social media planner. Um, you know, 
go high level has a lot more features that they will add along the way within social media planner but this is pretty much you know how you can go and how you can um you know create a new post so let's say we want to create a new post we can select it here again this is something that i showed you right now um if we want we can post reviews as well um not sure what this feature is all about but i, th I don't think it's that much uh um you know important but other than that, that's pretty much, you know, what you can do. So, uh, yeah, that's social media planner within Go High Level. Um, very, very simple um, social media management tool that you can use. And you can also resell this. We made a couple of videos about that as well. Uh, but yeah, if you're new around here, definitely check out Go High Level. Definitely check out our 30-day free trial link. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching.